welcome back to my channel. You have seen the title of this video. You have seen the box. It's time. I have just received the November scroller box, which I'm very excited to. If you haven't seen my previous video about it, I'm going to link it up in the card. There. Still new to this. Uh, <laughs> but I am... Um, I was very impressed by the last one. I did attempt my best at creating a piece of art with, with it. Uh, it. It didn't... I'm gonna let you see the video. You judge for yourself. <laughs> but that does mean that I'm super excited for this month's scroller box because I had a better look at their website and in the past months they have received some really cool products inside. So without further ado, it's time to unbox it. Okay, I am so confused by what I'm seeing. I have, I have not seen this before. Okay, so uh, starting with the sticker. We have this month's sticker, very pretty, very lovely. I actually love the purple and green and, and blue and pink on this sticker. This is beautiful. Uh, this month's card that tells you everything that is inside of this, but we'll take them one by one, not a problem at all. Now this is what I'm really confused about because I have not seen this before. Graphite tint paint pan set from Derwent. I am very what is this? <laughs> it's a unique blend of graphite paint with color for dynamic tonal work. Okay, 12, 12 uh, half pans with the lovely colors put right on top. All right, I'm definitely excited to try this. I have never heard of something like this. Uh, you also get a pen from, well, same brand, Derwent Graffy Tint. Hello, camera, there you go. Um, it is a 20 in midnight black. Tissue paper aside, you also get a sweet which is, well, no idea. It looks like a mint wig, why not? You also get the November 2020 booklet with really cool, it, it's, again, I'm not an artist, but that is, okay. Uh, <laughs> I hope this will be very useful because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm expecting them to be like watercolors. I mean, look at look at this month's painting. It's it's watercolor, but with graphite. I'm so confused. This is by Claudia Drexhage. Drex Drexhage. 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 Maybe an artist from North Germany. Let me just do this. Yeah, beautiful. And last but not least, the Langton Mold Made uh, Dollar Rowney, 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 Rowney. It's an A5 booklet, cold press, not. <laughs> Who can explain this? <laughs> cold press, not. Uh, green, fine, okay. And that's it. I am okay. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this, this is what you get. Yeah. So this is what you get in the November scroller box. I am. Very excited to try and do something with these. I have never seen something like this before. I don't know why I'm so amazed, but it's it's a it's a brand new concept. Like this is going to be interesting because I really like 
watercolor. I really enjoy uh, painting with watercolors, so let's see how it goes. you exactly what is inside of this palette so when you open it up you get this card that shows you how the colors should look like and we'll get to that in a moment you also have all of the pan sets in here something really cool is that you can actually detach these so you can have more space okay, put that back. there you go so you can have more space if you only want to carry one set of these colors Plus these inside, you can easily detach them as well. Not going to do that just yet. As you can see, they're falling apart at the moment because they haven't been used much. But also it comes with this water brush. Now the problem is, when you screw it all up, so let's say you want to carry water inside of it, which is what I currently do with my watercolor pen, right? So you want to carry some water in this and you put it back it doesn't fit. I mean, it sort of does if you put it like this. It's just a bit... Yeah, so you have to keep it unscrewed if you want to use this palette. Which I can get used to, I, I understand, but it's still very inconvenient for something that would have been so easily fixed. And getting into the colors, I have swatched all of the colors and there is no yellow. Like there is... There's no yellow. This is green. No matter how much I tried, I thought maybe, you know, there's extra paint on top of it or anything like that. There's, there's no yellow, guys. <laughs> so I'll let you know, just in case. So yeah, on with the video. Oh, 
You say we're falling like stars. There you have it, another monthly art subscription completed successfully. I am very proud of how this turned out, if you ignore the boiled egg sun that I have made. <laughs> the palette comes with very earthy tones, so of course it makes sense that I'm going to draw a seascape. <laughs> Why not? After they dry, the paints have a small sheen to them. Um, they almost look glittery, if that makes sense. It's been very easy to paint with them. They are very similar with watercolors, although I might say that they are a little bit more pigmented. Um, it really depends on how much water you, you put in them. So I guess that's what watercolor does. But anyway, very happy with how this turned out. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the painting? Did you, did you think that the case and the way the, the water pen fits inside is annoying? Because really that would have been so easy to fix. Uh, I'm hoping that I can find another one of these water brushes that can fit properly in there. I really like the fact that you can take it apart and mix and match the colors if you, if you don't want to carry all 12 with you or, or if you want to switch with some actual water colors because then you can get different effects. Don't forget to leave a like down below if you would like to see more of these. I am planning on getting one of these every month until I get bored of them, so why not? And also subscribe because I would love to have you here. And that's, that's, that's the video. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a lovely day. Bye!